Today's crispy pork belly. There are plenty of recipes on YouTube, but most channels don't tell you how to eat as a single dish. We already know how crispy and juicy it is. Today, I'm going to introduce one of the best ways to eat crispy pork belly. There are two conditions for me to make the crispy pork belly. I want to avoid using vinegar to dry the skin because I didn't want to ruin the fridge or oven with the smell of vinegar. And the whole process should be over in a day because I'm an impatient Korean. For these reasons, American's Test Kitchen was the best recipe for me. Also, I made Cantonese ginger scallion oil as a dipping sauce. This sauce goes well with various meats. It's a greasy food even though pork oil extracted by oven. Need something to wash out the grease from my mouth. Seasoned chai. You will clean up your greasy mouth. Definitely, pak choy will be added. I bought meat cut into 5cm wide. It was washed 3 times with cold water and the hair on the skin was removed. Get rid of water from meat using paper towels. The pork skin creates a crispy texture. You can't make a crispy shell on the part without the skin. Cut the skin 1cm apart. The cutting depth is up to the first layer of fat. Turn it over and do the seasoning. I did pepper, salt, and parsley. Place the meat on an oven tray. Sprinkle salt on top of the skin. Just top of it, not on the side. will come out from the meat. Using paper towels, remove the water. Please make them as dry as possible. Please pour it into a small bowl. Adjust the saltiness to your taste. Cut off the roots and then cut them in half vertically. When the water starts to boil, add 1 tablespoon of salt and vegetable oil. The pak choy will be glossy and crunchy if you use this method. Take it out after 50 seconds. Cut chives 5 cm length. Don't use the tip of the chives.
Seasoned chive. Buchimuchim goes well with all meat dishes. Buchimuchim helps to get rid of the greasiness of the meat. Move the meat to a pan. The skin goes to the bottom. Pour the oil from the oven tray into the pan. Add more vegetable oil to cover the skin. We are going to fry just skin. Please check how well the skin is cooked. If you think it's fully fried, please take it out. Lay it on the side and cut. Assemble. Oh.